We're stuck. Okay, okay there we go. Right. That's from the last go. podcast. Welcome back to another fishing, not, not catching podcast. podcast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let us know how we're doing. Yeah. This is we've we've probably done a total of uh how many how many podcasts? I don't know. A lot? Twelve, well, fifteen? Somewhere there. Yeah. yeah. Ten to fifteen. Somewhere it seems there. like people like the sound effects. People like the all over the place yeah. comedy. It's From like what feedback we've it's like so fishing far. comedy. Yeah. Kind of. Whatever. We well, just say weird stuff. Weird think, stuff I think happens. You need to slide. We, we need to look like we love each other a little bit more, Brad. Hey. Hey, buddy. I thought we were going to get our divider. That's okay. Maybe no more divider. I, I do like touching you. Yeah? In, in, <laughs> in appropriate we're, places. We're going to have to do a <laughs> podcast from the tub time <laughs> location. Ha, who wants to see me and Brad in a tub <laughs> doing a podcast? With a glass of wine. <laughs> I, I think that would get a high retention rate on YouTube. We'll put our wives in bathing suits with us. Now, that would definitely help. <laughs> that would help. Yeah, show a little skin. <laughs> People love that stuff. Uh, <laughs> that would We would get so many comments. Oh, gosh. Like, Let us know. Upside down pineapple stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and our wives already have the same name, so yeah. way less confusing for us. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what a great start! Yeah, we're, oh well, this, man, this is our podcast, yeah. and we uh, we're not swingers. I promise. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> we uh, uh. we do love each other, but not in that way. Oh man, I don't know. That that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> it usually happens. So there's a we've we've explained this before. Where we do this podcast, there is a place downstairs where you can get margaritas. Yeah, and this we try to bang out a couple of these at a time. And mm-hmm. so usually we take a break just to kind of reset and have a margarita. Yeah. And uh, usually kind of helps. You know? <laughs> yeah, if you listen to the end of the last podcast, you heard us talking about. Going down and getting one, but yeah. here we are, back We're, on podcast two. That's right. Day. But yeah, rate us five uh, if you've been listening and keeping up. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you tuning into the podcast. We are so excited about the podcast, yeah. and we've been it's been fun. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun and. Uh, we've got a lot of plans and goals and things that we're working on. Like, there's so much that we got going on. Big things you don't yep. even know about. Like, I mean, like, and we've probably said that before in our careers. Where, like, yeah, we got some big, but we have some really big stuff coming. Possibly. Legit, yeah, big deal. Like, and uh, we we have a, a place for you to sign up for an email list yes. in the show notes um, down on the YouTube if you're watching on there down in the description. And so, if you want to stay up to date on all the things we do have going on. And uh, make sure you sign up for that email list. We'll shoot you some emails with some updates and uh, all the crazy things. Maybe some tub time picks. And uh, if you want any tub time picks, definitely hit sign that up, email. Sign up for the email. <laughs> if you if you want to see me and Brad touching each other, <laughs> sign up for the email. Everybody list. just unsubscribe <laughs> from our email list. They're like, we don't want to see that. I mean, if you're into that thing. Check out our OnlyFans <laughs> at Fishing Not Catching what, Crabs. What would, what, <laughs> well, I was just thinking, what would an OnlyFans Fishing Not Catching channel be about? Uh, like, if we named it Fishing Not Catching, yeah, what like, would the pictures be? Uh, yeah. Or the all, videos? Uh, yeah, whatever you post on OnlyFans, I wouldn't know. If if it was Fishing Not Catching, but it was, and it was me and you? Yeah. Or just anybody? Sure. <laughs> me and you... Fishing not fishing not catching on OnlyFans. What does that channel look like? I can just imagine like me and you on the beach. Naked. <laughs> of course, it's OnlyFans. With with like some Do rod. we start naked or like how do we how do no, we we're get naked, there? Are we just start naked. We okay. have different things that cover particular body parts. Like you could hold a rod in front of your rod. It needs to be like the runt rod. <laughs> or you could like Check out my pompano. <laughs> Look at this lady fish. But like I, they're all I need a little junk. dink whiting <laughs> to cover me up. <laughs> you could use a bull red. Yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, man. Okay. This got real weird <laughs> real quick. Uh, check, check us out on OnlyFans. Just type in fishing, not catching on OnlyFans, and yeah. you'll you'll find us there. Screenshot us what comes up, please. <laughs> Who the heck knows? And uh, 
if for some reason you're still listening, <laughs> yes. we really do appreciate it. Yes, thank you. And, five uh, stars. Don't don't base it on anything that we've just talked about. <laughs> just give us five stars. Because just five cool. stars for Matt's here. Because you're cool and yeah. we love you. And yeah. And yeah, five, and yeah. you can rate and review on Apple Podcasts. And if you leave a five star review, we'll read it. We will read it on yeah. the air. That's right. As well as if you're on YouTube, comment down below. And we're gonna scrub through some of those comments as well. Yeah. Answer some questions and. All the good stuff. Let us know. Yeah, so, if, you, if you leave less than five stars on your review and comment, we're not reading it. Yep. Or we that might, being said, or we today's might make video is sponsored by OnlyFans. <laughs> and today's topic is <laughs> why uh, is this widening up my butt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I man. was surf fishing this <laughs> massive hole, and then this happened. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube Meets OnlyFans. <laughs> we would kill it on OnlyFans. We would kill it. Dude. We could be so successful. I'm not sure if women are into that or not. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? I'll ask my wife when I get home. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, we'll, we will find can the pay the bills, too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. This is going to okay. be the worst podcast we, <laughs> we've ever made. We have to stop going to Yoho Tacos. <laughs> After a podcast, we only had one margarita. I know we're totally sober. It's just, Ugh. just something about once we get some food. It's the, it's always the second one where we're yeah. like, oh crap, you know, here we go. Let's bang it out. Okay, all right. Anyways, well, let's get let's get on topic. Yep. Um, tomorrow, hopefully, uh, yeah, tomorrow's. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually fishing. Yes, <laughs> we're not just doing this crap. Uh, tomorrow, we we are doing something pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and we have a story as to why we're doing this, which mm-hmm. is pretty funny. So, uh, tomorrow we're, we're planning on going offshore kayak fishing, which is a lot of work. We're, we, I, we both kind of adopted that this year doing the offshore kayak fishing yeah. game. Huge thanks to Bonafide Kayaks for exactly. us up. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. No, that would have been possible, but it, it's been a blast. It has been. We've done some like cool stuff. You've done more than really I have. Cool stuff, yeah. Um, you've done more bottom fishing. I don't, I still haven't done any bottom fishing out of mine. You caught him. Like oh, yeah, a I did, I did, yeah, 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 yeah. I did go once. We went and trolled a for kings or something like that. Yeah, we trolled for kings and didn't have much luck. And we ended up doing a little bottom fishing. Yeah. Um, but you've done more offshore stuff than me. But yeah, it's pretty We fun. were at the pier over there, Navarre. Um, yesterday? Yeah, that was just yesterday. Yes. <laughs> it feels like a long time ago. It was a long time. Done a lot since then. Yeah, we are busy, man. Like, we have a lot going on. Yeah. We don't sleep, we don't take care of ourselves. Yeah. And so the we were at the pier, and they've been catching a ton of bonita. There's been a lot of bonita showing right. up around the pier. Bobos. And so we sh- we went to the pier looking for bonita, and we saw a bunch. A ton. Like they were everywhere. Ridiculous. Blowing up all over the place. Like looked like but looked like Matt and Courtney's tub time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> we don't have gas. I mean, I don't know what else would cause that kind of eruption. No, we don't. We, we ain't that. Oh man, you yeah. gotta come to my house. We you, got jets. Really? Yeah. Well, you, you're way swankier than we are. You've seen my house, and it ain't much to it. We live in Orange Beach. You do. You do live in Orange Beach. We're, we're in Gulf Shores. That is the other side of the tracks, for sure. Oh man, but like so, there's uh, birds everywhere. There's Bonita jumping. There's Big blow ups. Big, that we're pretty sure are, may or may not be some tuna. Yeah. <laughs> not a hundred percent sure. But we're gonna find out tomorrow. But so they while we we're on the pier, which was like thirty degrees, blowing oh. thirty out of the north. We haven't even talked about that no. yet, man. The, like the weather this week just went. And I, we don't talk about the weather. It's yeah. super lame. But we, we hate cold. It was cold as balls. It, yes. Yeah. Are balls cold? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's just a good analogy. It's either hot I mean, as I balls say, or cold I, as I balls. Say, yeah, I guess either way. It works. I it was know. cold as Santa Claus's balls. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, your, I think your ball temperature is it's like the warm. Like, yeah, if you're freezing, put your hands on your balls. And it's gonna help warm up your hands. But I think they're a lower, typically a lower temperature than your normal body temperature, which is why they are or separated. Usually, you know, <laughs> not, you know, yeah. retracted or whatever. <laughs> But when it's cold, like I think that, that's too cold, so I think they retract to kind of get. I think. 
<laughs> All right. You got a little anatomy class going on. I here can't too. remember, but I, they are I different. Know. They're I've different. Never studied them. I don't know if there's, there's, I can't remember. Comment or leave <laughs> yeah. a review. Somebody watching this. Let knows. us know I, uh, if you know, if you're a doctor or something. I, I can't, I just can't remember. This is from high school, what I, but I think you're the temperature of your scrotum <laughs> is supposed to be uh, different than your body temperature. I can't remember if it's warmer or colder. The temperature of what? You're screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> We're so immature. <laughs> Good gracious. How do what the crap happened? Like it's we, been cold. Yeah, we yeah, it was cold. Right. That's right. Uh, it's cold. But cold as balls. That's <laughs> where this started. Yeah. <laughs> Which I was I was dressed so appropriately and I was still cold. Me too. I, and, I have like some fleece line pants. Which was so weird. And boots. Okay, so and... I had on thermals. That's layer one. Yeah. I, I had to get me some of those. It, they help huge. And then I had on my, my pants and long sleeve shirt. And then I had, so I only had those two layers on my legs. And then I had um, a, uh, a, you had your ho- frog a, a on. hoodie. Oh, you had a hoodie too. And then my frog tog jacket. And then on top of all of that, I had my bibs. Yeah, and I was still cold. Still cold. It, it was first, miserable. First thing in the morning. It was. It had to be under forty. Yeah, and, and the wind was blowing. But then by midday, yeah, it like was, I was very wishing warm. for shorts and the. There were people t-shirt. on the beach in bathing suits yeah. that were, and I could have been in a bathing suit. Like it was completely comfortable. Yeah, like it's not like they were crazy. It was normal. It was just like it went from. I'm legit in ski wear. Right. To you could be in your bathing suit. I mean, there was people swimming in the water. There were bikinis. Like, I mean. Swimming. Yes. It was just crazy. Crazy world we live in. Yeah, the weather is just insane. Global warming. Yeah. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) But back to the reason we were there. There was Bonita everywhere. But the Bonita. <laughs> we are like, we are struggling this podcast. Squirrel. Yeah. The Bonita were not coming close to the pier. So we Correct. never had an opportunity at throwing at these Bonita. But we changed paces and we worked our way down to the, the um, down close to the beach. Yeah. And there was a huge school of redfish hanging out. Giant. And they stayed all day. Yeah. Like just they, mulling around. Yes. I mean, they were probably They'd go out, 200. come back in, yeah. go back out, come back in. And so we were fishing for them, just hanging out. And then we saw something cruising down the beach, like right on the beach. Yeah. And we weren't 100% when, sure. When we you say and Bryant right, saw it first. When we say right on the beach, we mean like... Like inches of water. Yes. Maybe a foot of I water. I mean, it's, it's, it's pushing awake because it's almost out of the water. Right. It's so close to the beach. And it was like super dark, yeah. like black. And so I think y'all's first initial guess was... Benita. A, a, a Benita, yeah, and then I heard Brant saying, "Is that like a giant permit, right, um, or we what could, is?" Couldn't that? figure it out. And then um, the more we saw, we ended up casting at it from the pier, and it circled its way up by the pier, and you could kind of see the flash of its fins, and we're like, "That sure looks like a tuna." It was a tuna. And then thirty minutes later, here it comes again down it, the beach. Very weird. And now we're like, "All right, wait a sec. We got to make sure we get a look at this thing." And here it comes, and sure enough. It is a dang black fin tuna. Tuna. Right off the beach. Yeah. Insane. And so we're hanging out. We're still fishing for these redfish. And it's kind of slow. They're not one to eat. They had moved out yeah, a little it was bit. Tough. Yeah. We were getting frustrated. We, we got there at 6 a.m. and it's like cold after lunch at this point. And now, and now it's hot. We're not like catching anything. It's yeah. kind of a slow morning. You had caught one red. And uh, Matt was like, let's go try to catch this tuna because it kept like, coming by right yeah like it was going on a like a it had like a path right you know a little a little route i mean literally and it was like clockwork it was like every 15 20 minutes right this tuna would come cruising down the beach shoot the pier and then go back out and it was like making yeah. a big circle it's crazy so you were like Let, let's go catch this thing because i go to the beach i've seen and the reason that popped in my head i've seen a video recently of, and it was acting weird you yeah. know the tuna like, first of all, shouldn't be there. Like, you're not supposed to see a, a freaking black man tuna yeah. in three inches of water. Not here. You know, yeah. that's just not normal. So, but I've seen a video of a tuna acting weird and somebody literally, like, in the water with them and, and grabbing it out of the water. So that's when I'm like, hey, let's go grab this let's, thing. Let's do this. I think I can do it. Yeah. And so we went down to the beach and we're like waiting there. We're like, hopefully this thing comes back. And Matt's like, oh, crap, I see it. There it is. So we got eyes on the tuna now, and he's doing the same thing, coming right down the beach. Yep. 
And so we're trying to figure out a, a game plan. We're wearing GoPros, GoPros with our mics that are not waterproof. So yeah. we can't go like full on. Yeah, we can't like dive on it. Um, so we're trying to like corral this thing. We're basically like cowboys at this point. Yeah. Like we should have been so wearing like. cowboy hats. That would have been good. That would have been a perfect OnlyFans oh. concept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naked on the beach with a cowboy hat. Grabbing a tuna. Heck, yeah. That's what I'm going to be for our Halloween party tomorrow night. Uh, really? Oh, you are going to be a cowboy. A naked cowboy. <laughs> well, you, you're going to be a cowboy. I am going to be a cowboy. Yeah. Um, we're sort of like trying to corral this tuna on the beach. And the first pass wasn't very successful. We, yeah. didn't, we, were, we weren't really sure what to do. Our teamwork if, was off. If you've ever tried to run... While you're knee deep in the water, it's not it's easy. Extremely difficult. It's not easy. Yeah. And so we're we're figuring out a better game plan. We're like, all right, we need to do this. We need to do that. Yeah. And so sure enough, it comes right back. Comes around. back in. And so we get pretty close on the second try. Um, I still think this wasn't the 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 no, one. N- not but, the one. But we got it pretty close. We got it fr- like kind of close up to the beach. I, I stuck my GoPro underwater. Got some underwater oh, cool footage shot of it yeah. swimming, which was super awesome. Stinking black. I mean, it, I, it still wasn't one. A black fin tuna, just yeah. right there. Knee the deep beach. water. It's crazy. And then, so the third time, we're like, "All right, we got this. Yeah, this is it. This is our time to yeah. shine." And at this point. We have an audience. We have a crowd yes. figuring out what the, in the world we're doing. Everybody on the beach that was there. Because we kind of look crazy. Of course. We're running around with cameras, <laughs> yes. chasing Ch- a fish. Chasing a fish. <laughs> <laughs> we look so stupid. <laughs> and everybody thinks it's a shark. Yeah, I know. And that was so weird. Every, like, there were all these groups of people that were like, is it a shark? Every person kept asking, is it a shark? And I'm like, no. Is it? And <laughs> we're then not I trying say, to bear him. And shark. then I would say a tuna. And several people also went, oh, a turtle. <laughs> A turtle. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, it's a shark. Oh, no, it's a turtle. Oh. <laughs> like, I, I don't even, like, it just blows my mind. And they still didn't know what it was. So, <laughs> That's so, funny. But it, just, it reminds me of when people walk by on the beach and they ask <laughs> what you're catching and you list off stuff and they're like, okay. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. they have no clue. You can tell them anything. Yeah, they have no clue what you're talking Tuna. About. It's, a, it's a tuna. Yeah. And they don't even, they're like, oh, a tuna. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, you don't realize <laughs> this tuna is not supposed to be yeah. here. Like, this is a big deal. Yeah. It, anyway, sorry. I no, you're good. But so like the third time, this no, this is the fourth time now. Yeah, I think so. Whatever. And it um, was a bunch. It, this freaking thing kept swimming. Like, yeah, this again. is hanging around for yes. a minute. And then we we get him in, and we both like he swims so close to the beach, and we were able to both kind of get behind him, and he was literally like flopping out of the water. He was in such shallow water. We, we yes, we had pushed him. Basically onto the beach. Like if we would have had a net, swim. we easily could have just like netted there him was up. a moment he could not swim, and the only reason he was able to is because of the way next wave came in, right? And gave him enough water to actually swim. Yeah, we had scared him enough up onto the beach. God, we were so close. We were so freaking. And then close. so right, right after that moment, <laughs> he swam right between Matt's legs. I touch him, and Matt touches his butt. Like I'm, I reach, I reach <laughs> down to grab him, yeah. and I touch him, and you know, of course, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm. Not successful, but all this is on video. I don't know when either of us are going to have a video of this yes. happening, but more than Check likely, by the time you hear this, there's at least a reel or a YouTube video somewhere. You've probably seen it by now. That is going to have some of this it. footage if you want to see it. Um, so uh, yeah, y'all go check it out. It was it was, it was, it was just amazing. But with that being said, the reason <laughs> having the black fin tuna, <laughs> fifteen minutes later, <laughs> we've got a story for everything. <laughs> The fact that that black fin tuna was there this early, and we saw big blow ups with the Bonita, which probably we believe were like that there's an opportunity yes. to take our kayaks off the beach and troll for some black fin tuna, and which are delicious, successful, which we did last year, actually earlier this year, yeah, this it was February. February, and uh, so we're gonna try to do that again tomorrow morning, and again you. I don't know when this podcast is going to come out, but if we're successful, you may have already you seen may have that. Already seen that. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> you already know yeah. what happened. We're stacking them up right now. Spoiler alert. Yeah. But man, but, uh, what what a crazy... I just can't get over the fact that we legit were trying to catch a black tuna with our barians yeah. off of the beach. That's wild. Like, I don't, so he was missing a peck fin, yeah. um, which was probably part of the reason... He wasn't that acting all right. All that was though. happening. You know, like he just didn't. He, My theory, I don't know if you heard me saying to Brant. So there's, Navarre is like really close to Destin, which has a lot of the big sport fishing boats and stuff. And if somebody was out fishing for marlin, they use those black fin for baits. Oh, okay. So it has this thing called a tuna tube. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but oh, it's no. basically like a, 
like a, a sack or it could be whatever, but it's usually like a more flimsy um, material. Um, big enough, round. Think of like maybe like a six inch piece of PVC. Okay. PVC pipe. And so they tuna because they fit, swim so fast they ha- they need so much water moving through their gills for the oxygen and all that mm-hmm. so if you put them in a normal live well they're not going to survive but if you shove them face first into this tuna tube it rushes so much water that they literally just live upside down huh and so i was wondering if they had caught this tuna maybe they were coming back in from fishing potentially forgot they had them whatever they're getting close to the beach they just like toss the thing out hmm Cause I mean, I, that makes sense. Unless he got attacked by like a a porpoise, which is definitely possible. That's too. also <laughs> possible, yes. And just like pushed his way he got up, pushed run, like who knows? But which I that, don't know. that that may be more likely. Honestly, thinking about it, the dolphin. Yeah, porpoise, get, yeah. yeah, getting chased by something and like ate his peck fin. Yeah, with all that activity that was going on that morning, I mean, there had to be some black fin mixed in there. Yeah, and there were just some giant explosions. Yeah, there was definitely some big ones. Because I mean, you, that, that was the thing. I mean, we're seeing all these, you know, explosions, and you can tell yeah, it's probably probably Bonita. But then you'd see this like little group to the side, or you know, amongst it, that's like those are way bigger blow ups, right? Than that. So yeah. I think I think there were black fin in there. Yeah. Hopefully we'll catch well, one for sure. More than likely, what's going to happen is we're going to get out there and it's going to be just like February. You're going to hook one in 15 minutes. I'm going to paddle around all day and I'm not going to catch Jack. I mean, I would be okay with that, but <laughs> I would like to catch one too. <laughs> maybe maybe rolls would be reversed. That'd feel nice. Yeah, I've, I've kind of been on the struggle bus fishing lately. Yeah, I was going to ask you about. I meant to write that down. I was going to ask you what what you think that is because uh, you've been on several trips. I mean, you had some success today and you ended up. I and, mean, Yesterday, st- you I, t- I did well today, but I still caught the least out of anybody in our group. You're, out of seven people, I only caught one fish. You're in a slump. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. When you fish like, like we do, you get in slumps. Yeah. I mean, it's just like baseball. Like fishing or, the pier yesterday, I caught one red, and it was like four, like last one to do fourth it. quarter, yeah. overtime. Yeah, like, Hail Mary. Yeah. yeah, got lucky there. Um, went offshore on Monday, had a terrible trip. Um, uh, now, now that's... Nothing to do with you, though. No, <laughs> no. I don't know if if that. I don't know. We won't go into details. Yeah, that probably wasn't your fault. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been a struggle. But um, speaking of this rare opportunity of the tuna, and another rare opportunity that has happened, and somebody that has had better luck than me lately, <laughs> is Mister Scott Kennedy. Kayak and Kennedy, and I think he was running a charter when yeah. this happened. Yeah, I think somebody else caught it. But they caught, uh, I don't know exact weight, but eight pound permit on the Alabama from Gulf Coast. Alabama. This is a huge deal. Insane. What was the previous record? Do you know? Five or so, six? So, yeah, for the longest time, I mean, it was like two or three pounds. And then I think it was two years ago that just got broken. I think it was four nine. I think was the record. Four nine. And then he just and called it eight, eight something. Eight something. That's a giant permit for this area. Yeah. I still never even caught one. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the you haven't been doing as much you haven't done enough no, set rig fishing. Need to. It I guarantee you had you done, you know, a couple of set rig trips a week these last four or five weeks, you'd have caught one by now. All right, screw the tuna. Let's go catch permit tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going after the tuna. Yeah, I can't resist. Too. But yeah, the, this is the time of year that we start seeing that. And in addition to that, the bonefish. Yeah. Which is weird because we saw, I, I forgot to mention, like this was the weirdest thing as part of going back to the pier with the bonefish thing is there was a bonefish hanging around that we, yeah. could, that we could see around the pier. There was a moment that the, the bonefish was right there and the tuna was right there. You're like, what's happening? Like how weird. Where are we? <laughs> I know, but like you, you're in... Four inches of water with yeah. a bonefish and a tuna right there together. How? Something about that area. Navarre is like a crazy place. Navarre is a very I just unique think place. Because there's, Sorry, there's, I, I kind of came off no, topic there. but Because there's no pass there. Like you got Pensacola and you got Destin. So they're so far away from the fresh water. The salinity there has to be much higher than like any of the other beaches near those passes. Because yeah. there's no fresh yeah. water other than That's true. rain. Yeah, getting well, flushed into that, area. and it's deeper, quicker. Yes, this is true. So that well. that may have a lot to do with it too. But 
it is weird. They they you can see a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, from the beach there. Very cool, but but um, the but the permit going back to that, like that's been something that, and me and Dusty Hayes when we were kind of more like fishing a lot more uh, set rig fishing like mm-hmm. all the time, we had kind of figured out that pattern that starting typically late summer, like talking September to December, is when we would start seeing permit in our area where you could catch them realistically. Yeah. Now, most of the ones... have to spend some time on that. Yeah, I know. You need to be out there. Most of the ones you catch are not going to be very big. Right. And that's been the case in se- for several years. The biggest one I've personally caught was 17 inches to the fork, I think, or 17 total or 17 and a half. Some, not a bad fish. I can't remember. I'd have to look at the video. But it was like a decent fish, like respectable, yeah. decent fish. And I, I've had clients catch some that size and a little bit smaller and and whatnot, but like this is the time of year to do it. And I've seen there uh, people send me pictures of one, one of them looked like it had to be seven or eight pounds. This was last year that was caught in Gulf Shores, and then the one that uh, Scott's clients just caught mm-hmm. being a state record. It, but it's weird, man. Like you know, I've lived here for ten years. I didn't I, when I first moved here. I wouldn't wouldn't have even even been able to tell you what a permit was. I didn't know what a right. pompano was. Right. And so I mean, it's still relatively new in that sense. I mean decade but i don't know it's one of those things like people are like man it's weird that these fish you know these bone fish and these permit are around snuck there's even been a, a few snuck, snuck yeah around here. yeah uh, but again it's that that was still really way more rare like permit's not a rare thing right for us it's pretty normal yeah now now a big one is very like the fact that he called an eight pounder like that's crazy, mm-hmm. you know. Right here, even on the Panhandle. I mean, not even talking like just up in this area. That's crazy. Uh, but for the state of Alabama, that's a big deal. But I don't know if it's just always been that way, or if it's just, or if it is a new thing, or if it has always been that way. It's just being brought to light now because of social media. Right. I mean, I don't know. There's. There's so many more people fishing, surf fishing now. That's true. That there's way more opportunity for this to have happened. So, so say they've always been here, but not in big numbers. When you only got a handful of people surf fishing, yeah, you're not going to catch them as often. You get right. thousands of people surf fishing, your chances are higher. Yeah. So it could be that. Um, also, the fact that more people are fishing and there's more knowledge around it. There's probably been plenty of people that have caught them in the past that just thought it was a pompano. Yeah, or didn't know what it was. Right. At all. Just throw it back and thought, yeah. oh, cool fish. Yeah. Um, hard to say. I'm sure if we talk to some uh, longtime natives, yeah. they might be able to give some insight. Maybe on able that, to shed but, some light. Because yeah. obviously, I wasn't fishing here 20 years ago. Right. I would know. You know, I, I mean, and especially like I am now. It, it'd be interesting to know. Yeah. Like, has it always just been this way? And, but now with more people fishing, social media is just being... Yeah, and I'm sure... I mean, you could probably go back and look at, like, some data from NOAA or whatever, but if you looked at, like, water temperatures year-round 20 years ago compared to now, is it are we having warmer water temps than yeah. usual? And that's brought some stuff up here. Or what... I mean, I, I assume the water temp is the biggest reason that yeah. bonefish and permit and snook aren't here. It's water temps, right? It gets too cold. I, guess. I would assume. Yeah, be my assumption. Because, um, like, I don't know about permit, but snook, they live back in some brackish stuff, so it's not going to be salinity or anything like True. that. So yeah. water temp yeah. would be the only thing that would make sense. And so, again, I don't know. Yeah, I think for survival and breeding, I think water temperature plays such a huge role mm-hmm. for fish. And so yeah. if it's not the right thing, they can't thrive. I may have to do some research back and see what the water temps, like, again, 20 years ago, right. 30 years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, that may shed some light. What they were then compared to now, if it was getting cooler then. Yeah. Um, less months of, of I, cooler temps. Now. I'm I'm not a believer in the global warming thing, but there we do go through obviously cycles. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's that that could be a huge thing. I mean, on average, temps could have been water water temps could have lower been lower. Than, yeah. You know, twenty thirty years ago. Yeah. Than they have been the last you know decade. I know a guy we need to ask. 
That's Mr. David Thornton. David Thornton. David Thornton will have the answer. He will know. He will tell you what the water temperature was in 1974. On February 3rd. Yeah. He'll know. Smart man. Yeah. No, David Thornton is a legend yeah. around here. We should ask him. I would. I would. Lo- I think we've mentioned this before, but I would love to have him on the podcast. We need to get David. Just ask him a bunch of questions. Yeah. Yeah, he, so he was the, when I, David Thornton, if you don't know, he's, he lives here locally. The peer pounder. Peer pounder. Um, he, like, he was a long time uh, land based angler, long before it was anything remotely cool. You, you know, <laughs> like, right. not that land based like, fishing. Literally nobody did it. Yeah. Like, it, it was very much frowned upon and, like, that's totally lame. You have to have a boat to fish. Like, he's always just been, the land-based fishing guy, like surf fishing, pier fishing. So he, and he's done it for 50 years down here, you know, like, so I mean, the, the guy knows, but he was the first one that I ever contacted down here within this industry. Right. Uh, Cause when I was trying to learn more about the sport of surf fishing, I was just on Google, you know, trying to find a surf fishing guide. And he was the only person I could find mm-hmm. on, on Google. Yeah. I, I talked to a lady that, had ran a trip with him. I don't know if he still runs any trips or not. I think he does um, occasionally, not much, but but I talked to the lady that had went on a trip with him, and she was telling me about the experience with him versus like how I ran it. Maybe maybe I took this late. No, I don't. Th- I think she was asking me about going on a trip mm-hmm. or something. But she was telling me she went on a trip with David, and like the amount of detail that she learned from him, I was like. I'm doing a terrible job <laughs> at running trips. He gave her paperwork about all these different the species you're going right. to catch. I've seen that. What they yeah. are. Um, I don't know what all else was in this paperwork. But like it was legit. Like going to a class and also fishing. Yeah. Whereas we're just kind of like we'll yeah. explain some stuff, yeah, but we're, we're mainly it, like yeah. catching fish. He like. If you run a trip with him, if you can even still book with him, like you're gonna learn something. Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah, you're gonna go home with some paperwork. Yeah, he has a to study ton of knowledge. No, yeah, he very he, smart man. He, his name will live on for a long time. Oh yeah, around here, David. 100%. David Thornton is is definitely a local legend. Yeah, absolutely. His name should be on the pier. It probably will be one day. Like Harvey. Yep. Out there, I guarantee it will be. Speaking of legends, probably the biggest YouTube fishing YouTuber. Mm. On the planet, yeah, had some uh, disheartening news here lately. Yeah, that's Mr. Black Tip H. Yeah, that's that's tough. He, if y'all haven't heard or seen, he posted on all of, all of social media that he he does have cancer and he's undergoing um, chemo we, now. We've brought him up in a podcast before about some beef he he, he and yeah. uh, Joanne and Ellie had, yeah. but all that aside, yeah. Dude's got cancer. So, yeah, that's Freaking tough, sucks. man. Like, hated to hear obviously, that. Obviously, I mean, it can it can happen to anybody. You never know. And um, now he's got he's got his brother, and I think I don't know if they're friends or just employees. He had he's got three other guys that are gonna kind of keep making videos, run yeah, run everything for him as he's going through chemo. Um, seems to be very um, high spirited. Yeah. Whatever the word is, right? Um, but that's but that's tough. Definitely gonna be praying for him, and it, hate to see anybody like that, especially yeah. somebody like at the top that's kind of paved the way for for us oh, to yeah. be able to do what we're doing. Absolutely, um, yeah. he's, and to he's, see him going through that. He's a uh, a grandfather. What was the word? Like, uh, I guess, a, yeah, grandfather of the yeah saltwater yeah. fishing YouTube Absolutely. world. I mean, he he definitely he's been on the OG YouTube for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, he's I mean, done a lot of cool crap. I'm curious if I let, let me just see yeah it. check it out, see what you can. Let find. me see if I can find like his first video. If he, if he hadn't deleted old videos, let's see yeah. if I can pull up like his very first. But I mean, he's been able to do like awesome trips with a lot of celebrities. He takes different athletes out and I puts them even. on like giant fish. Um, YouTube used to be able to be like where I could go to oldest video. Do you not know how to work YouTube? I don't. He's got one Come from on. he's got one from ten years ago on here. If I can see. Okay, that's yeah, that's quite a while. I wonder if he was literally the first twelve years ago. Oh, I'm, it is just popular and recent. Yeah, used used to you could do oldest interesting. and pull up like go from their oldest, but you can't do that anymore. You just that's have to scroll, shame. scroll all the way to the bottom. 
But yeah, anyways, uh, definitely a legend. And uh, we can go to his about. He joined in oh. 2008. Doesn't necessarily mean that's, that's when he first posted. That's true. Uh, but he did join in 2008. And he has 1.6 billion. billion. That's what the B, a b, 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 b. 1.6 billion views. That, that is in. Same. That's intense, man. Golly, that was. Did you go to his popular ones? That makes me want to see his popular yeah, ones. Yeah, I did. 118 million, 117 million, 107 million. Now, those are shorts. Biggest video, like actual full video, 80 million views. That's crazy. For man. a fishing video. It's That's called a- Strongest Man versus Strongest Fish. That's what I'm talking about. He takes like giants, he takes athletes, celebrities, and puts them on just massive fish. Yeah. Freaking legend. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, he unfortunately had that diagnosis. So yeah. definitely keep, keep him in your prayers. Go watch go watch some videos. Yeah. Help, I mean, you know. Yeah. That, that's the best way you can help him out financially. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure it's gonna be a uh, cancer's ridiculous and the oh, amount yeah. of medical expenses. I mean, you know, I don't think he's not asking for money or anything, but you know, I mean, he's yeah. probably use it. <laughs> I mean, shoot, that stuff's expensive. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you know, if you go watch some videos that, that, that helps him. So yeah. I just dropped my phone. Don't break it. Sorry. My bad. But it, cancer is such a scary thing. Like it, it it's, is. it's one of those things that's kind of always in the back of your mind. Cause so many people deal with it and it, like so many, you either have somebody in your family or a friend that has cancer or dealt yep. with cancer or whatever, or died from cancer. It's like, it feels like one of those things that's just like constantly coming for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, when, when's my day coming? I know. So I feel like, I hate that. I feel like I'm kind of going through some stuff that you went through. Maybe, I don't know how long ago it's been now, but like a year ago, maybe. But I remember you telling me, like, you're just stressed. Like, you can't sleep. Yeah. You're worried about a lot of stuff. Like, you've you've gained stuff, and like you're scared to lose it. Yes. And yes, I don't know if this is right around the time that you were experiencing some stuff that I recently have experienced. Uh, you, but you, now I talked about it in a video. Are you talking about that? Like when I was talking, like this was just with the threats and stuff. Yeah. Is oh, that, oh, is that the, around oh, that. the same time the, no, that you were having those? No, those okay. two separate. Times. I didn't know if the they my situation, correlate. your situation, correlated or not. But but I mean. I, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah. cause I'm, I posted a video. This was, this was like when COVID was in the thick of things yeah. and, and during that time. Cause I was stressed about that in addition to like just the economy and everything that I built and mm-hmm. being scared to lose it. This was like summer. I remember that video, last yeah. year or whatever. Anyway, sorry. No, but like, I feel like that's where like dealing with all this now. And then you see he's got cancer and you're like, I don't know. Everything just like stresses me out. I'm like, I'm going to, I, I'm in bad health. Like I eat terrible. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna I, get it, cancer. I'm gonna it, die. It's like, it, it's weird. Okay, so it's weird. I just had this conversation with my wife, and I was listing off all the things that because I couldn't sleep one night. This yeah. was here, and I told I told you there was two nights in a row. Yeah, couldn't get any sleep. Like I was exhausted, but I was only getting like two hours a night right. sleep. Like, but it was just because I have so much going on right now, and like so stressed about everything, and it feels like a lot of times in life everything hits you mm-hmm. and it's just like and on top of that you just start stressing about things that aren't even relevant to you well, 100%, you know what i mean yeah. like but you just feel like you're like, like causing unnecessary stress but it was the night the night that i didn't sleep well was the day that he posted that video yeah and, and that wasn't the main pain point for me like i'm it wasn't like oh i'm stressed about getting cancer it was just like because of that, more it triggered it. You're thinking about everything. For me. Yeah. Yes. Like seeing the fact that Black Tip Page got cancer triggered every stress in my life. Right. And, and then I'm like, and I'm going to get cancer. Right. You know, like as uh, you just feel like everything is uh, on top of you for a moment. I know. It's weird how we like go in spells. Like, I don't, I don't think, I don't remember if we've talked about the house fire and everything yet. On this podcast, we or not. we have not. Whenever we have, we, talk, yeah, we didn't talk about that. Talk about but like that. after that situation, like everything stresses out. Like every little thing, you were like, "What's that smell? Like is, is something burning?" Like I bet it's it's a little bit of PTSD. Like sure, and eventually that kind of goes away. But then you you still think like weird things will like trigger that, like you were saying. And then you have the other stuff that's been going on, and like every little thing just like triggers you. And then it's just on top of the views sucking and money's know, down yes. and well, like that triggers the it. economy is down yeah. and there's so many things and it just all weighs on you. And it's like, uh, cause like last, like 
I usually don't have a problem going to sleep. Like I woke up, it was last night. I woke up at like 2 a.m. I just had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm getting old. I had to wake up and pee. <laughs> and I got back in bed and I just could not stop thinking. Like it's so hard. I, I, ca- I cannot yeah. turn my brain off. That's, that's the same and then way when it happened. I, to me. When I start thinking, I start thinking about even worse things. And yep. it's like, I'm literally like, me and my whole family are dying tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's so what? unrealistic, How but do you it's go like to your that? brain. Yes. And that's like, Honestly, with some of this stuff, like I, it would probably be good to have a therapist, if, right? That could help you through some of these things. That's why we started a podcast. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk what? about a lot of crap. Welcome some stuff to we therapy. Can't talk about yet, but yeah. there's there's a lot of things that would feel good to like. Yeah, not necessarily get off my chest, but like a therapist would know how to work through right. these emotions or these things. Well, how does that make you and, feel, Brad? Anxious, <laughs> stressed. <laughs> No, I get it, man. Like it's like the the things that we have going on that were like it's not make or break, but it feels like it it kind of it's not. But it it feels like it could be like make or break stuff like this is it, it's gotta work. Like Yeah. I don't know. Put a lot of pressure on ourselves. Yeah, we've got a lot of projects going on and some of them you know about, some of a lot of them you don't. Um it's under wraps. But I mean just yeah, it's man, crazy. which is awesome. Like it's we we live and you know when I can take a step back and I'm not like stressing about every freaking thing in my life. And you take a step back and realize like what's what what's reality because mm-hmm. a lot of what we stress about isn't reality. Right. You know, it's the future or it's um, hypotheticals. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like all the what if ifs. you if you remove every bit of that and think, okay, what's my life actually like today? It's yeah. pretty freaking amazing. And that's what I was trying to you know tell I mean? myself last night as I'm laying in bed. I'm like, two years ago, even a year ago, all my stress was like financial stress. And now that we're a little more comfortable, I, I still have the financial stress, which is different. unrealistic. But yeah. We're not unrealistic, but yeah, different. Yeah. But it adds like, there, there's so many things. You're always going to stress about something and it's... Yeah, it's, it's stressful. <laughs> <laughs> it is stressful. Yeah. Well, well. Like, that's the, like. Uh, welcome to fishing, not catching therapy. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> we need like some like slow whatever music. <laughs> it's like I, I was yeah. telling you when we went downstairs to go get the drink. I was like, when I get back from this trip, like we're gonna try to start eating right. better, which is good. That's a good thing. Drinking less, trying yeah. to exercise it's a, a little bit. Because like when when I. Like I went fishing this morning with Sean Lawless, who's like fifty, and I'm thirty, and we're pulling the beach carts down the beach, and I'm like dying, and I'm like the difference between me at twenty and me at thirty is just ridiculous. Yeah. Like I feel so out of shape, and I'm like if I don't do something, the difference between thirty and forty is just gonna be you're gonna worse. be hurt. Like forties. If the difference between twenty and thirty at forty, I'm just gonna be like not be able to get out of bed. Yeah, is how I feel. I've heard forty is like tough. The, the stress, the stress is even worse on that. Yeah. Like the stress causes the high blood pressure and yeah. the the eating habits and the drinking habits. Like stress is the the main cause or whatever right. the the driving point of all of that. And yes, we need, need to live to, healthier yeah, lives, which definitely is what do. we're working towards. That yeah. I mean, obviously, you're doing some CrossFit. Yeah. Um, uh, you're gonna you're gonna start gonna eating. Try be- to start eating, eating better. better. Trying to take care of our bodies yeah. and and our minds. Then our OnlyFans will really be valuable. That's right. That that's actually why I'm doing CrossFit. Yeah. Uh, that's, you and Courtney that's, working on OnlyFans. It's one of my fans? projects. Yeah, we just, we're kind of letting the cat out of the bag a little I'll bit. Subscribe. <laughs> we are not starting an OnlyFans. <laughs> People are gonna. I think, know that's I, the thing. Somebody went to OnlyFans and searched. I, I know. Not we. D- yeah. We're sorry. I have to be clear sometimes. Buzzkill. Yeah. <laughs> I know you had your hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna see us naked today. Bama Beach Bum, which that name actually still would correlate. Yeah. I could use that completely. All your pictures are on the beach naked. That's right. Yeah. Selling bum pics. Totally would work. And then Bearded Brad, I could definitely sell some beard pics. Bearded Booty. That's your stripper name. Bearded Booty. That's right. And I'm Officer Good Bum. Oh, yeah. Over here. 
We haven't. We have, we we've kind of fallen down on the job on giving people stripper names. I know. I don't think we did, gave anybody. One. I know. We talked about it with Sean and then just forgot. And I never know, gave man, anybody because we one. could have done a great one for Ron and for Brant. Like, right. Man. Well, let's talk about it real quick. If if Ron was gonna be one. Yeah. Let's figure this out. What would Ron's stripper name be? Ron. He's um biscuits. Something with biscuits. Biscuits. Um. It'd just be biscuits and gravy. Yeah, biscuits and gravy. Yeah. Bodacious biscuit. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. The bodacious biscuit. I like that one. That's a that's good definitely yeah, That's a good name. stripper the name. Bodacious for biscuit. You're way more clever than I am. You're good at coming up with these names. Maybe I just Officer Good Book. Maybe I had to Google it. <laughs> may, maybe I uh maybe I just had more encounters with strippers. Maybe. That's you were in Vegas last week. This is true. Um so Brant. Brant. <laughs> I think we're thinking the same thing. <laughs> All right, we got Brent. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all at home may know if you just change Agler to something else yep. that may fit with a stripper. That's right. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> and then we got uh we had Sean. Sean did, did we give him a name? We gave him a name, did didn't we? we? I can't remember. I thought we talked about I don't know. We had Jordan on. a long time ago. Jordan would have been fun to come up with stripper names. Yeah. (sighs) Missed opportunities. Good times. Yeah. In the last episode, we mentioned um, y'all commenting on YouTube, and we'll go through some YouTube comments, read them, answer some questions, maybe read some funny stuff, and uh, just see what's all on here. Because we post a lot of reels on our YouTube page as well. Which gets some good ones. Those go to, like, People that don't even know who we are. Yeah. And so sometimes they're kind of funny. They are pretty good. So uh, some of these. let's see what we got. So this one, uh, Uncle Dub says, I'm actually shocked y'all don't spoil your own lines. Yeah. Which I we talked. I guess we talked about some of the snafus. That's I've been had. talking about for years, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, the reason I don't is, one, you, you really need to have enough tension when you got your line going on that on that spool, on the reel, if it's not if it's too loose, you're gonna have a bunch of wind knots. They use that machine. Yeah, so they get that, and also um, they have giant spools of like mm. however many thousands of yards or whatever. So they're gonna put on exactly what you need, the correct amount. Versus, so today, for instance, I went and got my reel spooled, and it was 380 yards. Now, usually you get 150 or you get 300. Right. So I'd have been 80 yards short or I'd have had to buy two different spools right. and put a splice in there. Yeah. And so I have no splice. Or you could buy a giant spool of line that you always have. But that's true. I mean, that's, I mean, which would be the probably the cheapest. But then, I I mean, it takes time and yeah. energy. And, like, I'd rather just go to the tackle store, have them spool up for me. Like, if you break down the expense, it's not really no, any different. No, it could be that much. I'm going to the tackle store anyways. Yeah. So just let them have them. Yeah. Let them do it. it. It's just easy, and usually it's done right. Usually, yeah. I've so this one, we I haven't read through some of these comments, but people are kind of mad about <laughs> dropping an electric reel in six hundred foot of water. They have torn you up on that one. I mean, I'm surprised. That's fishing. Like, yeah. How else are you going to fish in six hundred feet of water? We use an electric reel, which. That's totally normal. I mean, yeah. In that depth. (laughs) Majority of people that fish in 600 feet of water are using an electric. But they're like, his eyes exploded because you can't fish. Fish was dead halfway up on the line. (laughs) What do you mean I can't fish? That's how you fish in 600 feet of water. Like this guy, Dallas, this on that reel, this isn't fishing. This is equivalent of glamping. Glamping. Which, you know, glamping. Yeah. Yeah. City boy, city boy. That's what he put. I would like to know if he's ever fished in 600 foot of water. Poor deep fish Probably. eyes all popped out. You know, yes, when you catch fish out of that much, that deep of water, the pressure down there is like so intense that when they're coming up, it literally like their eyes will pop out. Um, their um, like stomach will come out of their mouth, and that's part of it. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody that's ever that's, fished yeah. and deep dropping Mm -hmm. that's that's just what happens and that's why they don't have as many regulations on those fish because it's going to kill like those grouper are not regulated you can keep whatever size because it's going to die when it comes up so you keep it and you eat it just how it works so yeah Yeah. and um this one's uh this is funny let's see i got barry johnson this was on one of our podcasts why don't you guys get off law enforcement and get back to fishing 
Um, we have I thought we'd been pretty clear throughout the duration of this podcast that really anything's fair game. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, <laughs> we don't really stay on any topic. Yeah. Th- that's what this is for. We call it fishing, not catching, just because it's funny. But this is not a fishing show. We talk about fishing because we do it. But yeah, I like this one. Um, Eric Scott says the hater comments are 99% people who wouldn't say it to your face. True. We call them keyboard warriors. We have them in the trucking industry also, also called CB warriors. Our light just flashed. Is that what that was? Yeah. Or, or, or it's something outside. Oh, I think it was like a truck. The, the sun is low enough now. Oh, people going over the bridge. Yeah, it's people going over the bridge. Hopefully that's not like spacing you guys out. Yeah. We're, we're wrapping up. We're just kind of reading those yeah. comments here. If you're watching, if you're just listening, you would have no clue what's going on right now. But the office we have has a giant window behind us, and there's a a bridge behind us, and the sun is low. I like this one. So in that same video about me deep dropping, I was talking about like how cool electric electric reels are, because mm-hmm. like when you're dropping in 600 foot of water, it it takes a minute for the bait oh, to get to sure. the bottom, a, even if you're using list. like a one or two pound lead. Mm-hmm. And so I was talking about like you can drop it. You could almost drink a beer on the way down. And then when you catch the fish, all you do is flip the switch and it reels it up. And you can almost drink a beer on the way up too. And, but we didn't have any beer on this trip. And El Capo 209 says, who goes on a boat without beer? That is a great question. That, that is actually a really, a really good question. <laughs> that, that was some terrible decision making yes. on my part that day. Here's another one from that video. Fishing games should ban these immediately. Unsportsmanlike in every way. The electric grills. <laughs> I think they are banned in California. Not surprising. Yeah, <laughs> everything is banned in California. People are up. People are upset that you have to have a license for a boat. Yeah, I just got, I just got to some of those. This isn't fishing. <laughs> Here we go. Tom Rabin, um, aka T Ray. I'm sure you see him a yeah. lot. Of your stuff. Yeah, he's he, a good dude. He, yeah. I message him on Facebook from time to time. Yeah, this he, is on a he's video a that. Huge, thank you. Yeah, you are. Tom a huge is supporter. the man. Yes. Um, he's actually got a grandson that goes to Orange Beach Elementary with my oh. son. Um, he says on the video with Jordan, he says G2 Coastal is an awesome charter service. Went out with Jordan Monday morning, got my Pompano limit in less than an hour. G2 Coastal exceeded my expectations. Look at there. Yeah, I guess nice he works. did. So if you're coming down to the area, pass out with him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Check out G2 Coastal. RM220, R- RM2012, another awesome podcast. Much respect to law enforcement. Jordan <laughs> was a cool guest. As far as the turtle story, just so the world is full of Karens. Yes, that is true. I love all the Taze Freddy yeah comments the savage says i'll contribute another 20 dollars for the taze i'm gonna be there we, it's funny we didn't even say his name <laughs> Every, everybody knew that it was we were talking about yeah. freddie like we, we said we knew somebody that would be willing to get tased for like 20 bucks and <laughs> lee rex road says hashtag taze freddie yeah <laughs> dude how many i haven't even looked but how many views did that my electric real it, real i don't know short what, get because there's, there's a lot Three hundred and eighty-three thousand. Nice. Yeah, because that that one, <clears throat> it probably it has to have the most comments, I don't, which I don't know. I don't know where to see that. Exactly. Um, if you go to, I don't know if you're Engagement? trying to find it, but um, oh. now I think if you just go back to our our content, and then hit shorts, and then oh. find that short, does it have the comments there? Yeah, I could, I could probably look at Get it. Get Freddy ready. That's talking about the taser. <laughs> poor, Savage poor just can't wait to move to Florida in three years. Heck yeah, man. Florida is awesome. Hey, Joseph. Oh, my goodness. Joseph Cangelosi Jr. says five stars. And that's on YouTube. Thanks, Joseph. Yeah, thanks for the five stars. 261. 261. That's, not, that's how many comments. What's that compared to some of our other bigger videos? Uh, like way more. Um, Timothy Sizemore says, what podcast equipment are you using? We're using the Rode. Uh, this is the Rodecaster Pro 2, which is the um, like the mixing board that everything's plugged into. And then we're using the Shure mics. Um, they're, they're the MV7s. Um, Pretty good equipment. So yeah, we love it. It's, I mean, it's expensive, but I mean, fairly... It's nothing crazy. No, yeah, we paid nothing crazy. What we pay for this? 
I think total with all the stuff. Not, we not were, the camera, but like yeah, yeah. Stuff. For the po- actual podcast part of the stuff, I think it was around twelve hundred bucks or yeah. something. Yeah, so not, not, nothing crazy. Not ridiculous. Well, I'll read one more. We'll all right, one, um, one more. Stephen Green says hi from Nashville. Hello, Stephen. Go Vols. That's right. <laughs> Love the podcast, guys. Keep the podcast coming. Oh, and he says it. Oh, Go Vols at the end. Absolutely, Stephen. Go freaking Vols. Yes. Oh, sorry. All but, good. Yeah. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. This one was absolutely all over the place. Started out a little weird, ended a little weird. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. It oh, was a good one. We had we had a therapy session. If if you don't watch or listen to the first five minutes of this episode, and you don't uh, let me rephrase that. <laughs> if you can listen to the first five minutes of this episode and you don't laugh. This podcast is not for you. Not for you. Because that was freaking funny. Yeah. You might need to cut some of that out. Probably so. But uh, we probably could... just made a cut right here at the <laughs> end. <laughs> we said some stuff we're not supposed to say. But we're... if you enjoyed that video, please like it, subscribe, <laughs> rate it five stars, leave Thanks. a review. We'll leave it on there. Oh, there's a, people behind us. Hello, people. Yeah, yeah we are filming a podcast. They, I think they're look, are they looking at us? I don't know. I, but um, yeah, they, they're laughing, walking by us. Yeah, we're gonna go whack some tuna tomorrow. That's right. Hopefully, we'll have some. You're videos. gonna see the video. It's gonna be amazing. That's right. Appreciate it. Check it out. Thanks for listening. We are out of here. Peace. Let's go catch some tuna. <laughs> tuna. Yeah, that's what you call a black fin tuna. Black fin tuna. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every time you click that one, I have to say, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Blackfin Tuna. Tuna. What's the name there? Uh, <laughs> Thanos. The thing John said. Uh, uh, the voice of reason. That's it. Bye. Thanks for listening. Love you guys. Yes. Oh. It's even better when you whisper. Whisper. It's so creepy. <laughs> this is so weird. We're the weirdest.